This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. To get started working with Oracle Apex Application Express, we need to have the Oracle database software, and with that comes Application Express. However, it's always an older version, so we need to upgrade the Apex that's installed when we install the Oracle database software, which for this series will be Oracle XE. So you can go to the Oracle website. You will have to create an account and you will download the Oracle XE if you don't already have it installed. Once it's downloaded, I will unzip the download and run the setup file. I'll pause the video while I get ready to do that, but you need to have this available to you if you don't already have Oracle XE or some other Oracle installation installed. After unzipping the downloaded software, I have disk one and I will run setup. I will pause the video and only show screens that I think you need to see. Early in the installation, you are prompted to enter the password for sys and system. So make that something that you're going to be able to recall because you need to have access as the system administrator to the database software. You might want to take a screenshot of this. Uh, just make sure that you have this information available to you when you're finished with the installation. So it took a few minutes but now we have the installation of the database. So I'll just click Finish. Once I have that installed, there's more than one way to get this going, but we now see Oracle Express listed in the list of programs. And if I look at the options, I have, I have Start Database. In the past, this has been a process that starts whenever I start my laptop and you may want to turn that off or on depending on how often you want to work with the Oracle database. I usually have it turned off and then I have to start the database to get the database software environment running before I start working with the database. If the database software is up and running then you can access it through this URL for the local install of Oracle XE. And if we want to see the administration interface, we would enter in internal as the workspace, admin as the username, and I'm going to use the password I gave for my system administrator password. And let's see if that gets me in. And it looks like it is because it's asking me to change it. I'll pause the video. I'll try this again. So I used the password that I gave for the system administrator account. We do know that we have the Oracle database running because we couldn't log in otherwise, and we have an older version of Oracle Apex. If I scroll down here, I'll see that this is a really old version of Oracle Apex. So the next thing is to upgrade that. Now I'm getting ready to upgrade Application Express, and I'm going from the 4.0 version that came with Oracle XE to Apex 18.1. So I looked up the documentation at the Oracle website, went to the installation guide, and then I scrolled down through the contents looking for Apex upgrade for the database XE, Oracle Express. When I get to those instructions, I get a link here upgrading to the latest Apex release drilling down, then what it says is, you know, download the Apex, which I've done. So I have that in a folder and I haven't unzipped it yet. And when I unzip it, I need to put it somewhere in my Windows environment where I do not have spacing and folders. So in this example, 
they're saying perhaps C colon backslash and that's actually where I'm going to put it. So as I unzip this and I'll go ahead and start the extract all then I'm going to put it under C under the apex dot one and start that extraction and it's going to take it a few minutes and once it has unzipped I will pick up here with step three. So in step three after unzipping the apex 18.1 files you are to change your working directory to Apex and we're going to do that at the command line but let me just show you very quickly so at the C root I see a folder that was created Apex 18.1 and I can drill down and I see I actually have an Apex folder just for background if I were to look at where Oracle XE was installed because it came with Apex and I drill down into the folders I will see that there is an Apex folder here as well, but we're now going to point Oracle to work with the new folder of Apex support files. So I'm going to do that at the command line. In the lower left corner, I'm going to type in CMD, which gives me the command prompt. And then I will move around in this command line interface. So I'm going to do CD backslash to move to the root directory. If I do DIR for directory list, I see the apex underscore 18.1. And I want to go into that, so I do CD apex underscore 18.1. I actually have another apex folder below that, and I need to move into that folder. So now my current folder is apex under apex underscore 18.1. Back at the instructions, it says, we need to start SQL Plus and log in as SysDBA. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I come back to the command line and I'm going to type in SQL Plus forward slash no log. And I see SQL prompt. So I need to do a connect and I'm going to connect sys as sysdba. Now my password is going to be what I entered in as a password way back when I was installing the Oracle XE. So I've typed that in and I'm now connected to SQL. I can even show user and show that I'm actually logged in as sys. So back at the instructions, what we need to do is run a script that's in that Apex folder it's this right here, apexins.sql. We will specify two table spaces and a temporary table space and where the images will be stored for Apex. I am going to use the example here provided by the instructions. If you're doing this long term to use, you want to hopefully coordinate with a DBA and decide how you want to set this up. Rather than using the sys auxiliary table space, you'll probably want to create your own table spaces for uh, database management purposes. But I'm using this strictly for instructional purposes, so I'm going to use the example provided. So I copied that and put it in here at the command line. The at symbol basically says look in the current directory, run this script, these are the parameters, the two table space names and the temp table space name and the image parameter that we're passing to the script. So I'll hit enter and it's going to take it a while so I will pause the video and try to remember to look at the time and give you a time estimate. So we see that if we look through some of these messages that we have the completion of that script and it took approximately eight minutes and it popped us out of SQL plus back to the C command line or the uh, operating system command line. If I come back to the instructions then it says to log back into SQL plus and we're going to run this script so I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this I'll have to make some adjustments. Notice we need to know where the Apex home is, which is the parent folder of the current Apex folder we're working in. 
So what I'll do is come back to the command line and type in SQL plus forward slash no log. That gets me back to SQL. But notice if I say show user, I'm not logged in. I'm just at the SQL prompt. So I do my connect sys as sysdba and then type in my password. Then when I do show user, it shows that I'm actually logged in as sys. And then I can do my paste for the command, and then I need to put the actual folder, which is c colon backslash apex, the parent folder, I should say, for the apex folder that I want to use from here on out. So this is the parent folder. And I will go ahead and double check here, apex home, and I will hit enter. I'll pause the video unless I hit an error and I need to point something out. So I'm back at the command prompt and it looks like the script has completed and it took a shorter time than I was expecting, but uh, we can verify whether or not this is working by whether or not we can log in and see a different Apex login screen and interface. So I'm going to bring the browser window forward and just pick one of these. It's going to be uh, 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 forward slash Apex. And you don't actually need anything else. It'll automatically pick up on the application interface for Apex. So this looks right. This looks like the newer version of the Apex interface. Now my old password I was using was from sysadmin. So one more thing I'll do here before I log in is I will come back to my instructions. And it says upgrade the Apex password by running this script. So let me come back to my command line. I'll copy that I guess first. And because I don't want my Apex administration account password to be the same as my Oracle database administrator account or system administrator account to be the same. First off, I'm going to click and just see show user to make sure I'm still connected and I am. Then I can paste in the command and I can hit enter and it's asking enter the administrator's username. I'm going to leave that as admin, which is shown in square brackets. And then the email, I'm not actually going to worry about email. And then finally the password, so I'll enter in a password. So my first attempt failed because I didn't include all the things I should, such as a numeric character, a punctuation character, and use mixed case. So I'm going to simply rerun that command, leaving the defaults till I get to the password and re-enter my password. And now the password has been changed. So I come back to the login screen. And it might take a second, but I'm now logged in to Apex, and if I scroll down at the bottom, I see that I am looking at, let me bring that up a little bit, the 18.1 version of Apex. So that has been upgraded. So now I've laid the foundation for working with the tutorial on doing the web application and the corresponding topics on database concepts, how to design a database, and SQL commands to work with the database, the data in the database.